Hello and welcome back to another installment of our virtual tour. The 19th Amendment to the U.S. Constitution, also referred to as the Susabianthe Amendment by suffragists, was the culmination of a decades-long struggle in American history. It stated that the right of citizens of the United States to vote shall not be denied or abridged by the United States or by any state on account of sex. After the Senate passed the amendment on June 4, 1919, a great race had begun to get 36 states to ratify it. The first state to do so was Wisconsin, followed shortly by Michigan. Here you can see the states that ratified it and the order in which they did. There was a lot of anxiety surrounding which state would be the 36th state to ratify the amendment after Delaware unexpectedly rejected it. Also unexpectedly, Tennessee became a battleground state for the 19th. As a popular story goes, when the Tennessee House of Representatives was split 50-50 on the issue, the young representative, Harry Byrne, switched to the pro-suffrage side at the behest of his mother, who wrote to him, hurrah, and vote for suffrage. With Tennessee ratifying the amendment on August 18, 1920, the amendment had secured the necessary 36. And on August 26, 1920, Secretary of State Bainbridge Colby certified it. And it is on this date that Women's Equality Day is celebrated each year. This August 26 will mark the 100th anniversary of this landmark piece of legislation. Behind me, we have a full-scale photo of Alice celebrating the occasion 100 years ago with grape juice in hand and the suffrage banner with 36 stars sewn on it. 